Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. Um, just right after Chinese New Year, we, uh, we always have some leftover ingredients from Chinese New Year. I have happened to have some, um, this is one can of abalone and this is actually uh, sea cucumber. So what I do here is just we are going. I'm just going to cook the sea cucumber braised using the uh, broth, yeah, the the braised broth from uh, the abalone. So um, the good thing about when we buy the uh, can uh, sea cucumber, uh, sorry, the can abalone is that usually it will come with two kinds of broth. Number one is the clear broth. The second one is the uh, braised broth. So braised broth here is very useful. You can use the broth. To brace anything and today of course we are going to brace sea cucumber all right so uh, later i'm going to cut it into uh, strips and brace it <laughs> and it's done it's, it's that simple uh, if you want you can actually blend some broccoli to eat together with this dish okay so first thing you do is to take out the abalone because for abalone you only need to heat it up you don't have to cook it Usually this is already cooked. If you uh, cook it, then it will become too chewy. Yeah? This is why many people asking about how, how come my abalone always come out very chewy? Because the one in the cucumber, the one in the cane is already cooked. If you cook it again, it will be very chewy. So you only need to heat it up. Yeah, only need to heat it up. So I'm just having the the broth, the braised sauce and I'm going to dilute it with some hot water okay it gets heated out very quickly let me zoom in for you uh, hold on okay then you of course you cut then you cut your sea cucumber into thick strips like this, not too thin. If it's too thin, it can melt also. And right, then we put it in. Here you can actually uh, roughly taste uh, if to, to get the right flavor out. Mmm, beautiful. Um, probably I just add a little bit of light soy sauce. Done. So I'm going to use medium heat to cook through the uh, sea cucumber for probably about 10 to 15 minutes. You really want to look stay in uh, right beside your uh, pot because you don't want your sea cucumber to get melted. Some will get melted very fast. Okay, this, this is too simple. I decided to find something to do. <laughs> uh, I prepare some uh, broccoli. Okay, I cut out some broccoli here and I'm going to blanch it. Yeah, so I prepare there uh, some hot water. Put in some salt. And also add in a bit of oil. We're going to blanch our broccoli after you wash it. Okay, we just uh, quickly blend it for probably about less than one minute. Then we will take it out. Okay, very quick. Okay, take it out from the blanched water after about one minute. Don't cook it for too long. If not, it will uh, discolored and become yellowish. Okay, I turned down to medium low heat uh, a while ago. This is after approximately about 12 minute cooking, yeah, simmering under medium low, uh, me medium low heat. Oh. You can see the broth has reduced by itself, thicken it up. And it has been absorbed into the abalone. Eh, sorry, uh, yeah, the sea cucumber. Sorry, keep on saying the wrong words today. 
Now we can actually put in the abalone inside together. Then let it cook under medium low heat for about 2-3 minutes, then it is basically done. Okay, 15 minutes, done. Okay, I'm going to off it. Um, I have placed the uh, broccoli inside the plate. It will just uh, carefully move the sea cucumber over and also the uh, abalone. Yeah? Move them into the middle. Okay. Can do it slowly since this dish is too easy. <laughs> But I'm telling you, this dish is very yummy. I don't know why, when I was young, I don't know how to appreciate um, sea cucumber. But when I grew older, ooh, I love it so much. 100% collagen, yeah? Really, really nice. Then, of course, we have the sauce. Let me pour the sauce over. Okay, the sauce taken out by itself. Done. Simple, right? Actually, if I don't use the broccoli, this dish will be too simple. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.